The creator of the iconic piano from the movie Big has sued the parent company of world-famous toy store FAO Schwarz. Hi, I'm Leonard French, a practicing copyright attorney in the United States, and I review lawsuits that I find interesting. I prefer to show first-hand sources so that you can see what's really going on behind the news. This channel is entirely community-supported. If you like what I do, please consider supporting via the links in the description below. Here's what's going on with the F.A.O. Schwarz lawsuit. It all started back in 1982, when artist Ramo Saraceni designed his first big piano in his Philadelphia studio. By 1983, Saraceni and his big piano had received national recognition, being featured in major newspapers, magazines, radio, and television. This publicity led New York City-based toy store F.A.O. Schwarz to place an order with Saraceni for a series of his big pianos and the setting up of a showroom inside the flagship store on Fifth Avenue to display the big piano. The big piano, with its distinctive design, quickly became a major attraction and draw for F.A.O. Schwarz customers. In 1984, Ann Spielberg and Gary Ross, who had just started writing the screenplay for Big, saw the big piano at F.A.O. Schwarz and were instantly impressed and thought it was perfect for a pivotal scene in the movie. The big piano was featured in one of the film's key scenes, and People magazine referred to it as an icon in the film. Sarah Cheney is given credits in the film as the creator of the big piano. Since 1982, Sarah Cheney has extensively promoted and commercialized the big piano and his creatorship of the big piano, including through installations of his big piano in thousands of museums, children's hospitals, and other public spaces all over the world. Sarah Cheney's big piano has been enjoyed by over 150 million people. The Big Piano has been featured in countless articles, news stories, and similar pieces, and on current major television shows such as The Simpsons, and films such as The Night Before, and TV commercials for MasterCard and Capital One, as well as in several YouTube videos receiving a combined almost 10 million views. As a result of Saraceni's efforts, the Big Piano has become synonymous with Ramo Saraceni, and the public has come to identify the overall non-functional look, appearance, and design elements of the Big Piano, and association of the Big Piano, and the marketing surrounding the Big Piano, quote, the Big Piano trade dress, as identifying its creator and source, Ramo Saraceni. In other words, the Big Piano has acquired distinctiveness and secondary meaning as identifying a single source, Saraceni, and remains distinctive, immediately recognizable, and inextricably linked to Saraceni's identity, celebrity, and likeness. Further, since at least as early as 2008, Saraceni has continuously and extensively used and promoted the trademark Big Piano in connection with pianos, which Mark has become distinctive and acquired secondary meaning as identifying Ramo Saraceni as the source of the piano products promoted under the big piano mark. Saraceni is also the owner of a U.S. trademark registration for Big Piano for keyboard instruments, electronic musical keyboards, and piano keyboards. But here's where the plot thickens. F.A.O. Schwartz has benefited for many years, says Sarah Cheney, from the reputation and goodwill of the artist and from the big piano trade dress and the big piano marks by making the big piano a centerpiece of its toy store and a major draw for customers from around the world. Between 1982 and 2015, F.A.O. Schwartz, with the permission of Sarah Cheney, extensively utilized the reputation, goodwill, and celebrity of Sarah Cheney and the Big Piano trade dress and the Big Piano marks by maintaining an installation of the Big Piano at its New York City flagship, which is shown by this photograph taken in 2015. Sarah Cheney believes that F.A.O. Schwarz's use of the big piano trade dress and the big piano marks has resulted in many millions of dollars of revenue for the toy store. However, on or about July 15th, 2015, F.A.O. Schwarz announced that it was closing its Fifth Avenue store. Sad face. Then, in October 2016, Defendant 360 Group purchased the F.A.O. Schwarz brand with plans to reopen a flagship F.A.O. Schwarz toy store in New York City. Happy face. 
Saraceni was contacted by defendants and entered into negotiations regarding defendants utilizing Saraceni's big piano, the big piano trade dress and marks, in connection with FAO Schwarz, which was reopening its flagship store in New York City's Rockefeller Plaza. During the course of these negotiations, defendants agreed that they would not, among other things, use the trademark Big Piano in commerce in connection with pianos, toy pianos, piano playmats, electronic keyboards, or any other item that would infringe Ramo Saraceni's trademark rights without a prior written agreement or advertise, market, or knowingly create an association between current or future products sold under the FAO Schwarz brand and Ramo Saraceni or the Big Piano trademark without prior written agreement of Remo Saraceni. As a token of good faith during the negotiations, however, Saraceni provided defendants with a Big Piano for their temporary retail and trade shows before the flagship launch. Thereafter, according to the complaint, defendants abruptly ceased negotiations with Saraceni without obtaining permission or agreement from him to utilize the Big Piano or any rights related to the Big Piano. On November 16th, 2018, FAO Schwarz reopened its flagship New York City store with a confusingly similar imitation of the big piano prominently displayed in the store and the selling of a knockoff version piano mat and has since been marketing themselves and creating an overall appearance and association with plaintiff and the big piano and plaintiff's rights associated therewith thereby causing consumer confusion as to the imitation pianos being the big piano or defendants' activities otherwise being affiliated or associated with Ramo Saraceni. Since reopening FAO Schwarz, Defendant 360 Group has promoted, quote, that big piano is back, thereby falsely stating that the newly opened FAO Schwarz included Saraceni's big piano. Egregiously, defendant's website has also been advertising a video promoting its brand and product stating, quote, we're known for our big piano. Sarah Cheney believes that defendants have been referring to the replica piano in its store as the big piano to customers and to press, causing or otherwise allowing newspapers such as the New York Times to report that, quote, the big piano is back and not much else and otherwise misleading customers and trading off of the goodwill and reputation of Saraceni and his big piano and infringing the big piano trade dress and big piano marks. For example, retailers such as Bed Bath & Beyond have marketed FAO Schwarz branded piano mats as the big piano dance mat from FAO Schwarz. Defendants have intentionally done other acts to create a false association with the Saraceni Big Piano marks, according to the complaint, by having its employees dance on the imitation piano wearing the same red Converse sneakers popularized by the Broadway production of Big, which featured dancers in red Converse sneakers dancing on the Big Piano, thereby perpetuating the false illusion that the piano in the FAO Schwarz store is actually the Big Piano. Sarah Cheney goes on to make several claims against the owners of FAO Schwarz, including false designation and unfair competition, claiming that defendants have passed off plaintiff's reputation, likeness, goods, and services, for trade dress infringement, claiming that the big piano's design and shape of the product and packaging are his protected trademark. For trademark infringement, that defendants used the big piano marks in commerce without permission. For false advertising, that defendants' advertising and promotion was false or misleading as to the source of the big piano. For right of publicity violations, that defendants have misappropriated Sarah Cheney's identity. For breach of contract, that defendants agreed not to use the trademark Big Piano in commerce in connection with pianos, toy pianos, piano playmats, electronic keyboards, or any other item that would infringe Ramo Saraceni's trademark rights without a prior written agreement, or advertise, market, or knowingly create an association between current and future products sold under the FAO Schwarz brand and Ramo Saraceni or the Big Piano trademarks without prior written agreement, etc. And additional claims for common law unfair competition and unfair trade practices. Oh, and there's also unjust enrichment and trademark dilution claims in there. And well, wait, there's one more, tortious interference with contractual relations, 
saying that defendants harmed Sarah Cheney's opportunities with certain companies and firms regarding the possible purchasing or licensing of the rights associated with the big piano. In his prayer for relief, Sarah Cheney asks for injunctions against defendants using the marks in any way, for the infringing goods to be seized and destroyed, for any related advertising to be removed, for an accounting of the profits from the use of the big piano marks, and all damages, including a disgorgement of profits, treble or triple damages for willful misconduct, plus interest and attorney's fees. Now, Sarah Cheney has to prove all of that, and should have the chance to do so, so long as the litigation progresses. We don't have defendant's answer yet, so they could come back with some evidence or reason why they believe they are not infringing, which could include attacking Sarah Cheney's ownership of the trademark. After all, it's a piano, and Sarah Cheney will need to show that his trade dress and trademark really do have the acquired distinctiveness necessary for protection, and that defendant's big piano is confusingly similar. Some of the evidence is already quite compelling, but the fight is also at the very beginning, and we've only heard from one side. I was a big fan of the big movie back in the day. F.A.O. Schwartz's Fifth Avenue store in the Big Apple was one of my biggest attractions. I would love to visit the store and even got to dance on the store's big piano a few times. Part of F.A.O. Schwartz's financial problems may have been its expensive location and status as a tourist attraction. I have visited many times, but I don't recall ever buying anything. I would have to carry my purchase around Manhattan, maybe even into a show on or off Broadway, and I could probably have purchased my toy back home more conveniently. But I was sad to hear of FAO Schwarz's closing, and I'm happy to hear of their new store at 30 Rock. I hope the parties are able to settle the lawsuit and focus on making wonderful new memories for the next generation of children. Let me know what you think of the big piano lawsuit against FAO Schwarz in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Special thanks to our top supporters in November. John Steele, Gavin Barnard, Evie, Spirit Bear, Benjamin Hytoff, Ugly Grill, Torpedon, Shadow Tycho, Earthbound Star, Pure Magma, Drew Hart, Tech Tech Potato, Eric Tams, and the Blood Soaked Survivors. You can support Lawful Masses on Patreon.com slash LJ French, Sponsus.com slash Law, through YouTube membership, and through Floatplane subscriptions. Join me for our weekly production live stream on twitch.tv slash lawful masses on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. Eastern U.S. time. I hope everyone has a great week. I love you all. Bye.